Okay, today in our first video blog tutorial, we're going to show you how to straighten the horizon. As you can see, this is quite wonky here, so everyone's falling over. It's quite hard to get a straight horizon when you're hanging from a rope, but easy enough to fix in Photoshop. A very common way to straighten the horizon is to use the measure tool, which is hidden behind the eyedropper tool over here, the ruler tool. Select the ruler tool, drag the ruler across your wonky horizon and then in the image menu select rotate canvas arbitrary and it automatically comes up here with um, the angle that you need to rotate it to to get that line straight so just click OK and it straightens it automatically you can see that it's added in some extra canvas there so you can see the entire image tool, but we need to crop that out. So if we select the crop tool by pressing C and then dragging our marquee across the image, it's a bit of a faff to get it just right. We only need to drag it to uh, two of the corners, and drag it across to this one here, and then the bottom corner is the other one you need to watch out for. Uh, press enter and you are done with our new smaller but straight horizon. The way I actually prefer to do it, we'll go back, is to use the crop tool all the time so it's a bit quicker this way. Not much, but we're all about saving time here so we just zoom out a little bit. Select the entire area with your crop tool and then just drag the top bar down until it intersects somewhere with the horizon, it doesn't really matter where. Now this is the point here where the crop tool rotates around. We want to put that on the horizon, where the horizon and our marching ant crop tool meet. So now when we rotate it, it rotates around our horizon. So dragging outside the marquee, we can straighten that line up, move that out of the way if you want, and then drag this back up. The advantage of doing it this way is when we drag using these sidelines, the box automatically snaps to the edges. So if you drag it in, in and then as you drag it back out, it snaps in, and you are spot on. Press enter to apply the crop. and you're done. In the next one we'll show you how to do it in Camera Raw and in Lightroom. Thanks for watching.